everyone uh, in this video I am going to explain the design of backbed reactor which is methanator in this case so uh, in this case uh, we will basically converting CO2 to methane uh, using uh, hydrogen gas and uh, since all of these components are in uh, gaseous phase so there will be volume uh, change uh, during the process so uh, we have reaction coefficients mentioned here like for hydrogen it is 4 for methane co2 it is 1 and for water it is 2 so change in uh, number of moles can be determined uh, using this equation uh, like we are having uh, 5 uh, moles uh, on the reactant side and uh, 3 moles on the product side so there will be mole change and volume change as well uh, during the whole process so uh, using these reaction coefficients we can determine uh, the change in number of moles that is minus 2 and uh, then uh, for fractional change in moles uh, we can use uh, the limiting reactant uh, mole fraction multiplied by this uh, change in number of moles so we can easily determine uh, this fractional change in uh, number of moles so it becomes uh, minus 0 0.222 here so now based on uh, the mole balance of the reactor now we can clearly see uh, that we are giving uh, this uh, CO2 uh, as a reactant and uh, hydrogen as reactant and uh, we obtain uh, water and uh, methane as products so we can uh, write it in terms of theta uh, which I will explain it later so uh, this is basically a term to accommodate the change in volume and uh, this is uh, the conversion uh, like uh, uh, x is the conversion of co2 uh, to the methane and water uh, so this is uh, written in this way so let me show you what is theta uh, theta is basically ratio of uh, mole flow rate of two uh, components like uh, component divided by limiting reactant uh, similarly for all uh, of the other components like methane water and hydrogen and then uh, design equation for the packed bed reactor is given uh, in this way like a differential of flow rate of uh, methane divided by uh, differential of uh, weight for the catalyst and uh, rate of reaction for methane formation so we can easily uh, integrate uh, this side uh, to get uh, the equation in this way so now uh, we basically need to know uh, about the rate of reaction which we can determine from the literature uh, like for methanation uh, this is the rate of reaction uh, which is basically determined experimentally uh, in the uh, you can find it uh, in literature or uh, books something like that so once uh, you are done uh, with this rate of reaction you can uh, substitute this value here and integrate to get the value of weight for the catalyst so now uh, we can uh, see here uh, different constants uh, like KCO2 which is kinetic rate constant for CO2 conversion and uh, these uh, capital K's are for adsorption constants uh, like uh, gaseous components uh, get adsorbed on the surface of catalyst and uh, where uh, they take part in the reaction to get converted into products so these uh, adsorption constants uh, can be related to the temperature uh, like we will be having a value of adsorption constant at some reference point and uh, we have uh, this uh, heat of adsorption and uh, temperature so we can uh, find value of adsorption constant at any temperature other than the reference temperature and uh, similarly uh, we can relate the rate of uh, rate constant uh, at any other temperature using the uh, activation energy so all of these parameters I already searched out uh, online uh, to get these uh, uh, values here so uh, now uh, as I already mentioned uh, once you are done with the rate of reaction equation you can find the weight of the catalyst but uh, problem is integral uh, because uh, the rate of reaction is quite complex so we can use uh, excel file uh, to get the value of uh, weight of the catalyst using the numerical method like trapezoidal rule uh, here so let me show you uh, so here uh, you can clearly see uh, in the excel file uh, like we have conversion here uh, flow rate for all of the components here and then we can easily convert uh, these flow rates into partial pressures and then we have rate equation uh, which we determine for every uh, small uh, conversion and then we can uh, take inverse and uh, multiply it with the coefficient uh, for the trapezoidal rule 
and then we can determine this weight of uh, catalyst required for uh, small conversion so after we are done uh, with this uh, we can uh, we can complete it uh, for a given conversion like 90 percent here and then we can add all of uh, these uh, small uh, portions of the catalyst to get the total amount of the catalyst required so let's move uh, here so uh, after uh, we are done uh, with the 90 percent conversion we obtain the weight of the catalyst as 17576.5 kg so now uh, based on the density uh, we can uh, find the volume of the bed required so which uh, we have determined here 7.03 meter cube so now um, based on uh, the length by diameter ratio uh, that is 2.5 uh, 2 to 5 sorry uh, so we have taken it as 4 and uh, then uh, using this we can determine the uh, diameter of the bed required and uh, once we are done with this uh, we can determine the uh, length or height of the bed and after uh, that uh, after we are done with the dimensions of the bed we can add uh, some uh, height at the top and bottom like 1.5 at top and bottom uh, to find the uh, dimension for the reactor so that's all uh, for uh, the pack bed reactor please like share and subscribe my this video thank you